Hey, what's up guys? This is Trav again. I want to try something different in this video, something I've never done. We're going to do a little bit of a let's play. Uh, and I want to give it a shot for, you know, a couple of reasons. Uh, the big one being with all the tutorials and everything, it's kind of, um, it's kind of hard for me to progress in the survival world while doing all those. So I think this is going to be a good way to not only, uh, you, you continue with progression in my world but also to kind of bring you guys in so I can get your guys interaction you can see what I'm doing behind the scenes and uh, we can kind of you know get a dialogue going on some of the things that uh, you know maybe may, you know maybe things that don't deserve their own video or aren't that big you know we'll just see how it goes okay it's kind of like uh, like Psycraft with a peep Psycraft on PlayStation and um, we'll see what happens so as you guys know uh, we've been working really hard on clearing out that witch farm perimeter, and we got it done. And we're planning on putting a floor in, but I'm not quite ready to put a floor in. I still got some resources to farm up, and got to gather some things. Uh, so in the meantime, what I want to do is come up with something that, that we will use, uh, and that's working on making a better way of getting to the witch farm. So this portal here goes, um, that goes home. That goes to the base, and then down this hallway, this hallway is like, I think, 90 blocks or so, and it takes a right, and then it goes a ways to another portal that spits us out where the witch farm's going to be. So, you know, we're going to come up with a piston bolt uh, to get us there, because I've never built one before. Uh, I think they're cool. You know, they, they use them a lot on the Psycraft server. They're not... Um, they're not the most efficient thing for us to use, just because our worlds aren't that big, but hell, it's going to be fun to build it. So we're going to give this thing a shot and uh, see what becomes of it. I, I put one together real quick in my test world a little while ago to, to see, if, see if it would work, and it did. So Anyway, the first thing we're going to have to do is we need to come up with... Uh, you know, all I've done now is I've dug, I've dug out the tunnel, and I've laid in uh, kind of a little tunnel going with a red, kind of go with the witch witch farm kind of color. I don't know, a little red coloration here. I got a dispenser there, a couple droppers up to it, a little elevator, and a hopper underneath, and that hopper is going to be fed from uh, carts on the return line. Carts will break off and go into there. But anyway, uh, so I got a little start here. What we need to build is a... We need to build a machine that is going to... Bend the rails. Uh, let's see. Because these rails need to be bent. For a piston bolt to work. So, we're going to start with this. And these, let's see, I got some rails on there. I think I got most of everything we're going to need here. So those are going to have rails on them. They're going to get pushed, alternating all the way down here. To run those. Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to put some slime blocks on them. This front one's going to need a, an observer there. And also we need to put a redstone block. Because we need to energize these rails as they're bent. Uh, so that's that. We're going to need some pistons now to push these. Um, back here. And uh, I'm done with that. Let's get this here. I'm going to fill in some of this hole for now. Uh, Alright, so let's get some pistons. One there. Not like that. Let's put a couple pistons in here properly, please. One there. One there. We can break this stuff out. For now, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't want that piston pushing anything until we're ready for it. Uh, they're going to have... Uh, let's see, uh, slime behind him, and, uh, they're going to need observers facing down into him here, so this one's going to have an observer there, that one the observer gets moved back, yeah. uh, jumping so hard, like what is it, Jesus, alright, and that's going to have one there. So, let's see. Observer to ener energize that. Perfect. Get rid of that in a minute. Um, and then this one's going to have an observer facing down into here. 
and these I'm gonna have two observers like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this stuff. <laughs> this is a pretty cool device once it's going. It'll just slide right down our tunnel. And uh and curve the rails for us. Okay, so now what we need to do is on the backs of these we're gonna put slime blocks and then there's gonna be sticky pistons. Right there, and those are going to move those observers back and forth. And the way this is going to work is since those are alternate, they're going to move uh, off timings, a different timing from each other, which is going to push these at different timings as well. I think we can put that back too. And uh, so that way they, they alternate as they move forward, bending the rails. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we're going to need back here some normal pistons to push this. I didn't give it. I didn't give it space. We need some space. Uh, let's see. Oh, we could just use the floor here. We're gonna need normal piston here and here, and we need some observers to charge them. Like that. Like that. Perfect. Um, and these are going to go into normal blocks and observers facing back this way. And those are going to run some sticky pistons to grab the tail. On the back of these, we're going to have normal pistons to push everything forward. And then when they get pushed forward, those sticky pistons charge and pull the engine from the back. Um, all right, so we're just about got this thing licked. We're gonna need a normal block here that's gonna slide between those two and energize them. So it's gonna need an observer. Uh, am I getting ahead of myself? No. It's gonna need an observer like that. So when it moves forward, it's energized. And then now all we need is our little engine off to the side here. Uh, so the basic locomotive, locomotion, loco locomotive. Here, like this, and a normal piston there. So that should be the whole machine. So let's drop our hard save. And we'll auto save no. And let's see if this thing works. Uh, we're gonna need our button steel. So we're gonna test this one so oh, this big guy coming in. You can go there, there, there. Come here, you. I'll smite you. Then she just spawns and we'll get everything put together. God, look at them all. Get out of here, ye scumbags. Okay, no. Now let's try it. The riff raft has been removed, so we're gonna send it forward. Make sure everything moves. forward one yes it did perfect oh and it's curved it perfect okay cool so we know that it works so what we're gonna do now is throw a an observer here and automate it I've already dug out plenty of room on the other end for this thing just to fly on past there it goes look at that so that's gonna curve them all the way down this looks like it's just crawling doesn't it it's a machine that's going to build a machine. It's right down this tunnel. That is pretty cool. It'll go all the way past the end here. And then it'll just crash into the wall at the end. We'll break it down. We'll have to build it one more time uh, to do this part here. This is the short run. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a right-hand turn 
What's going on in here? I have to make a right hand turn and it goes down there several hundred blocks. I'm not really sure, but off the top of my head, but it goes down there a ways. So we'll have to add a turn in there and and uh, you know, do all this over again. But here it comes. <laughs> Got another big slime guy down there. That is cool. There it goes. Over them all. See ya. That's the end. Awesome. I'll clean up the rest of it later. And where's our oddball here? Right there. Sweet. I love it. That's pretty cool, huh? So, we're not going to finish this whole thing today. But I, what I want to do is I want to get the uh, wiring done uh, on this end. So you guys could see the launch station. We can, we can get that thing wired together. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's... Okay, so the first we're gonna want we gotta figure out where these first pistons are gonna be. So this needs to be a piston here. Uh and then it'll alternate like this. Let's go there for now. And these will have oops. These are gonna have blocks next to them. Like that. And I got a bunch of carpet, uh, not on me, that I'm going to put on top of these to uh, spawn-proof them. Okay, so that's that. Then we need, um, so this one here is going to need a block. It's going to need a monostable circuit charge in that one. So like that. That. That into there. What am I? Oh, psh, I gotta move it over. We can leave that there. And then we're gonna have a monostable here. Repeater there. This one. Oops. This one. And then this one's gonna be on two ticks. It's important that uh, both sides are energized to tick apart and not on the same tick. There we go. Um, okay, so this is going to be our, our button. Here. And then we're going to need a torch. Perfect. Okay, so then we're going to need a torch here for the dispenser and to charge these bottom ones. We'll put a block here. We're going to need a dust and then let's get a block here and a button to direct that because here we need a piston um, and then this one's going to have an observer uh, facing up which is going to power This, that was my last terracotta. Um, and then this is going to have a dust on it. And I think that's it. So what we'll do here is let's throw some repeaters in and just take a look. Now, have I put uh, any carts in here yet? No, we're going to need to go get some carts. 
So, to make this thing clean, let's grab, where's my carpet at? There's a carpet. Oop, that's my arrows. We're going to do... Like that, that, we'll put carpet here. Put that there. Run that down the side. Let's leave that side open for now so we can put some mine cards in. And then what these are going to have is carpets on top of all these. That one won't be able to because it's going to move. That'll spawn proof them. Oh, where the hell did I? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Oh, cool. So, let's run down and to the main base. We need to get some iron and uh, make some mine cups. That's it. Perfect. We could eat something, couldn't we? Ah, right, now let's test this thing out. So, we'll load. We'll load this thing up. Perfect, and come up here, get it to feed one, oh, I need a clicks to get it going first time. So it feeds one, and then, perfect, look at that, I like it, that's awesome, so we know it's going to work, how cool is that? That's going to be so cool when it goes all the way down around the corner. Well, that's exciting. So the rest of it I'll, uh, I'll finish up later, but that gets us a good start. So I think this is going to be pretty cool. We'll take it all the way down and we'll take that right-hand turn. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. That's, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Like I said, I don't know if it's the most efficient thing for us to use. It's not like we're going a long distance, but that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my first Let's Play. Um, it was fun building this little pop-up, or this little piston bolt thing with you guys. Um, if you do enjoy something like this, if you think this is something we could use on the channel to, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, something enjoyable, then uh, leave a comment and leave a like, and uh, I'll get the message, okay? And continue to support as you always have. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and push that notification bell to stay notified when something new drops. Uh, and as always, guys, I'll see you next time with some more Minecraft PlayStation 4 content. Enjoy your week. This is Trav. Over now.